you know, sometimes people don't get on. Like the dude is sexy. Like you're like, oh, I shouldn't trust him. But like, he's so good looking. <laughs> What's a girl to do? It happens to me all the time. Okay, what are you laughing at? Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Hey, I'm Jess Alexander from the new movie Into the Deep, and I am on when Zay Zay met, and today Zay Zay met me. Get by going down with gente. I am Zay Zay, and welcome to when Zay Zay met. Now today, ooh, this is a good one guys. You know her from the movies Glass House and A Banquet, and of course from the hit Netflix series Get Even. Plus, she's recently been tapped to star in the new Disney live adaptation of The Little Mermaid. Man, this chick works, y'all. And now she's here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, show your love. Her latest is Into the Deep. This is Jessica Alexander. Hello. Wow, what an intro. Oh my God, can you come with me everywhere and just announce my presence when I walk everywhere, in? Everywhere, everywhere, let's just do it. I'm ready. Budapest, right? That's where we're going? Give exactly. me two tickets come to Budapest, over. please. <laughs> How are um, you today? How's it going? I'm good, I'm good, yeah, I'm good. I'm glad to be speaking with you. It's good to see you. So you're in Budapest right now shooting, you said? Yeah, I am, yeah. That's awesome. See what technology can do with us. Like, you know, we're here talking about Into the Deep. She's already on to the next one and the next one and the next one. And we're talking while she's filming. And look at that. She's ready in the club. Yeah, I see. Booked and busy. Booked and busy. <laughs> Booked and busy. I'm trying. I'm yes. trying. <laughs> you have been rocking out, though, since you were young. What's the difference between pre -gla glitz, glamour, lights, camera, action, life, and post? glitz camera live action life for you i'm still i'm still in the pre but i don't know about the post <laughs> oh, stop it we Maybe see you living in a back club to me in a couple of years if it, you know <laughs> things go well i don't know i'm not i'm not <laughs> like when you go but when you go back home like let's say when you go back home is there do people treat you differently is there anything really different in life i mean i suppose like it's weird when you see people from like your old life, right? Like school, like people you don't really keep in touch with. And people yeah. are like, so like, wow, you're like an actor. Like you said you were gonna do it and you actually went and did it. Okay, good for you, I guess, right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I have good friends, you know? I keep a, I keep a close circle, so okay. no one treats me different and no one's weird or anything. I mean, a lot of my friends are in the industry, so we kind of all get it, you know? Booked and working, booked and working, as you say. That's what we're trying to be, baby, you know? <laughs> I'm trying. It's hard out here. No, oh, you know, I'm very lucky. I've been very lucky. It's hot out lucky. here on these streets, people. We're trying to work. <laughs> We're trying to get it good, especially this year in ooh, Budapest and London. Yeah. I want to know from you, watching you in the movie, not thinking that I know you in real life, right? Mm -hmm. But you're so cool in real life and such like a just like a cool, chill kind of person. Oh, I you. truly want to know. This is coming to me right now. I didn't write this down. Sorry, guys, I'm off script. Whoa, you're putting me on the spot right now. <laughs> no, I really want to know, like looking at you and talking to you, what is your absolute favorite thing? My favorite thing? Laya, what's your absolute thing. favorite thing? That is so vague, okay. <laughs> Anything. I mean, food? Mine is, mine honestly, mine besides people and loved ones and whatnot, but mine, my absolute favorite thing of all things is pizza. I love me a oh, good I actually pizza. had pizza today. You trying to flex on me now? Like when you're on jobs, when you're on productions, people feed you pizza a lot. It's like a really quick way to satisfy an actor. It's just like that's true. Oh, just give them pizza. Yeah, I mean, definitely one of my favorite things like is eating. Like that, eating. that three meals in a day. It's like the highlight of my friggin' day. When I wake <laughs> up in the morning and I know breakfast is coming, like. That is my favorite time of day. When I go to sleep, you know when you go to sleep, you're thinking about breakfast already. Like you just ate dinner and you're like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna get up and get some brunch tomorrow. Like I wanna go get coffee, juice, eggs. I love a full English. Um, I am a Brit, except minus the like sausages. So I don't really eat meat like that. Okay. Well, I, I do, I'm a flexitarian. A fle <laughs> what is that? Flexitarian. Like, it's flexible, you know? Like sometimes you're vegan, sometimes you eat fried chicken. It just depends on the day. <laughs> it depends what country I'm, I'm in and I'm what, I, what 
project I'm working on, whether or not I'm, I'm no. like when you're doing Little Mermaid, I don't know if you're going to eat too much seafood. Maybe you'll eat something else, right? Because it just. No, I'm pretty little... weird about that. You know, it can't be just walking around eating like octopus and the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Yeah. So, so beans on toast. Yeah. Yeah, like that's your. I whole... can't find beans anywhere here in Budapest. I brought marmite with me in my suitcase. <laughs> like, why? Like a jar of marmite because I don't know where I can find it here. All my friends who've come here say that you miss British things, so I yeah. I just brought it with me. Okay, so food. I love that. I lo I love that you're into food. I really do. It makes me feel a little less about myself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the movie into the deep right oh. for you what was it like working with such an intimate cast and crew because you guys were it was a small team just making this film and making it as best you can yeah i mean honestly like indie movies are always fun for that reason because it's it is a smaller crew and you get to know everyone properly um and working with like only two other actors is pretty special i've not done anything like that, I mean, that's a lie, I suppose. A lot of my movies have been like fairly small cast, but never this small, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And never in such a small space together for so long. Right, right. Um, so it's just pretty dope to be able to get to know people on that level, because then I think the acting is better because you, you know each other's instincts. You kind of know what people are gonna do. You start to be able to predict the way people move and talk. And, you know, if you're doing any improv in a scene, like you can almost, you can almost feel it happening before it happens if you've spent that much time with someone, you know? Right. So I think that's that's why it was so great, really. And what was the coolest thing about the fact that Kate Cox was at the helm of this thing? Captain Kate, yeah, she was, she was just the best. She was the best. I mean, she has such a good eye for how she wants things to look, you know? She's done a lot of like fashion film and stuff like that. And I mean, I watched her short, a short film of hers called Vert, like, V E R T. That blew me away, like just the way it looked. Um, and so she was just a blessing to work with, you know. And she also just kind of gave us free reign of everything. Like she, she was just like, go crazy, do whatever you want to do. Let's just see what it looks like, you know. And it's great when you get a director like that because then you do go crazy. I did. <laughs> um, and yeah, and you just get to have fun with it, you know. So. So she was great. She was magic to work with. Yeah, Aww. she's going to be huge for sure. That's awesome. That's, you know, it's interesting because um, there are some some messages and some, you know, sort of themes as well as the, the thrill of this film. Um, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot going on in this movie. Um, there's obviously on the serious side of things, there's like the issue of like sexual assault and sort of people not believing women when it happens. Um, but then there's also like this beautiful line running through it of like female empowerment and sort of building that trust between two women who don't necessarily get on straight away, which is something that I think in female empowerment movies, we don't always see like women who don't like each other. Like in these movies, a lot of the time it's like, we're gonna be best friends and we're just gonna, you know, defeat the bad guy together because we're women and that's what female empowerment is about. But I went to girls' school and it's not always like that. <laughs> it's not always like that. Um, you know, sometimes people don't get on and I think that is definitely something that is a massive theme in the movie is like relationships between women and um, how they can really go from one extreme to another in a short amount of time especially in, you know, on a boat at sea. And like right. everyone's really like sexy, like the dude is sexy. Like you're like, oh, I shouldn't trust him, but like he's so good looking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want the girl to do, you know? I can imagine. I mean, it happens it happens to me all the time. Okay, so, um, <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Uh, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. All <laughs> 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 right. Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Okay. So, um, oh, I know they're going to wrap me up in a second. Okay. So, um, do me a favor. 30 seconds. Sell me this movie. Why do I need to see Into the Deep? Let's go. 
Okay, Into the Deep is a fantastic female revenge thriller that will not disappoint. You will be left asking questions every turn. There's plot twists, there's bikinis, there's jet skis, there's the ocean, there's blood, there's violence, there's fighting. There's basically everything you could want in a good like Friday night movie, you know? So go and watch it. That was pretty Ooh, good. That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> It's really hard to put it into a nutshell, this film, without no. spoiling it, you know? So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why I left it to you to be like, hey, there's some themes in this movie you want to talk about? <laughs> without spoiling it, right? There's without a lot spoiling. to talk about. There's a lot to unwrap. We need more than 10 minutes to really get into it, you know? For sure, for sure. Man, maybe one day I'll fly out to Budapest. We can meet up, have some exactly. drinks. and Then, then we can really talk it. about it. Yeah, then we could get into the deep. Ah, Ooh. into the deep. <laughs> What? <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jess, good on you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Continued success, and I pray for all good things in your life, seriously. Oh, thank you. Same to you, man. Thank you. Ah, you take care. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching When Zay Zay Met. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified when we upload more conversations with celebrities and other interesting people. Now, if you'd like to see your favorite celebrity on the show, it's simple. Just tell us who that is by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see you on the next one. Hasta la próxima. No quiero del corazón.